tonight on Movie Dream, we have a continuation of the theme Western Wednesdays and a continuation of my favourite topic. When is a Western not actually a Western? The film you're about to watch is called Sabata, directed by Frank Kramer, also known as Gianluca Perlini. This is a, well, an interesting Western that splits the crowd. The first group feel that the film is well, it's good action adventure fare, a bit of schlock and a bit of, well, fun and games. It's kind of a western adventure with Lee Van Cleef that mutated and deformed and played with the conventions and gave it some new life. But it's not really movie drone. The second group feel that the film is a movie drone again, but argue that the film is absolutely just a load of claptrap. It's a kind of big budget, well, not really that big compared to today's standards, studio fair that it was made to kind of battle the Django's that were going around and making lots of money and also rejecting Pirellini's previous film Sotana which had done very well in the hands of other directors and instead I come from it from this point of view it's an example of when a western merges itself with an action genre bullets do fly they cascade about and so do explosions and bodies and it's just a whole cacophony of events going on and just making it more interesting every second. The The great thing about it is that it takes technology and it plays with it. It ta takes the form and plays with that. It says to you, this isn't going to be a standard Western, just like Red Sun said, this isn't going to be a standard samurai film or a standard Western. It merges them together. So it takes action, it takes the Western, and it goes, Psh! but then it adds a buddy movie, which isn't actually a buddy movie because everyone's out for their own selfishness what we all care about well that's what these characters care about there's no interest in looking out for each other or any form of altruism they are just wanting to take what they can and the thing that makes it more refreshing than anything else is people cross and double cross without even thinking about it they're kind of little nickly bits of where they just decide oh actually now i'm going to try and kill somebody because it's going to get me money they don't do it and they're given a chance to then recuperate and change their ideas but they still kind of stick around as if they're not quite sure whether they're going to stay or go. Or It's brilliant. It shows how human beings and characters really do act. That is us. It is how we are. We kind of choose our battles and then we choose our size and then we mutate and merge and move around. And it's always about our own interests. But the ending itself suggests that as much as self-interest helps, the reality is that nothing is going to save you from, well, losing out in the long run.